Someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. Hola, el Skater Pro. Claro, ya tengo pasta para regalar canastas. Hello. Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max. Ah, la quemó la foto. No voy a poder volver a ese recuerdo. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Volvió como estaba la realidad. Todo volvió a la normalidad, entre comillas. Hola, Gabriel Jones. Sí, esta parte es muy triste, la que tenemos que decidir matar a Chloe. Pero estaba sufriendo, así que... You get one kiss, now you're all over me? I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. I can't remember any point of time when I had taken the photo and I was in the photo. Chloe, you're not
Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. A ver. Okay, estamos de vuelta. Eh, ¿qué hay acá? Damn. This is a serious expose on the Prescotts. Finally. La Gran Noroeste, la organización Pan de los Prescott, Cielo o Infierno, por Craig Kennedy. Puede que el apellido Prescott no le diga demasiado, sobre todo si vive más allá de los límites de una pequeña localidad costera de Oregon, pero es un nombre que significa bastante en el que debe Un enclave pintoresco que parece congelado en el tiempo. Antaño sede de una industria pesquera y turística próspera, la ciudad ha visto días mejores, a pesar del éxito local de la prestigiosa Academia Bloodwell y de sus equipos de fútbol y natación, los pies grandes y las nutrias, respectivamente. Los cambios ambientales en el área han reducido la cantidad de peces y otras formas de vida marina, lo cual ha dado como resultado un estancamiento en la economía y un descenso del turismo. Extrañamente, los Prescott han logrado mantener la rentabilidad de sus intereses comerciales. De hecho, están detrás de un desarrollo de viviendas exclusivo y caro, conocido como Urbanización PAN, que se construirá en los bosques profundos cerca de la Academia Bloodwell. Los grupos de nativos americanos locales ya han presentado varias denuncias contra el desarrollo, alegando la amplia destrucción de tierras tribales y recursos naturales. Continúa la página siguiente. Even Holmes and Watson didn't use every piece of information. Staying up all night is the best excuse to drink lots of coffee. I wish I could tell Chloe how much William cared about her. Foto. ¿Qué número de fotos? Ojalá no me haya pasado ningún número. Okay, es la primera foto del cap mensaje. Ah, le tengo un montón de mensajes. Eh, espérate, regresa a las fotos. Es la, es la primera foto del capítulo. Eh, luego siguen piedras, no juegos. Hay que buscar. Cola de ardillas, ¿eh? son colas de ardillas. Diario. Mira los mensajes. A ver, el warning. Me había gustado poder ayudarte, pero yo me haría donde me dejo. ¿Qué? Entiendo. Ah, ya. Entras, logro un par, ya. Un puñetero notable bajo. He sacado un notable bajo en el examen de química. <ríe> sí, a ver ese probado. No lo sé con quién hablo. Ah, guarden el herido. El notable bajo que me habría gustado por ayer, pero creí que te había llegado a la ciencia. En este caso, mis viejos me van a matar. Ya valió. Eh, ok. Estoy bien nomás. Machín, ¿qué demonios pasa con el clima allá arriba? ¿Están haciendo pruebas militares o algo? Estás justo en el ojo de la tormenta. Sin comentarios, me mantenido en lista con vida hasta ahora, así que estamos a salvo. Siempre tú, que tú estés cerca. Se sonroja. Me vuelvo a ver los libros, hablamos pronto. Kate. Eh... Ya. Yeah, te echo de menos, eh, mi conejita. Todos echamos de menos, y también tu conejita. XD, eres una gran amiga, muchísimas gracias. Estoy diciendo verte, ¿ves? Justin. Ok. Así. ¿Desde cuándo hay mensajes? Ahora yo estoy en Alejandro, sí, me enseñan, sí, bueno, ¿qué pasa? ¿Conoces a Frank Roberts? Drogas, solo eso. Pregúntale a Nathan, creo que él sí. Ok, gracias, Fox. Justin, por. Juliet, a ver, ¿qué dice Juliet? Ah, estaba preguntando. Hola, Juliet, ¿estás ocupada? Para estar ocupada, no tengo tiempo para estar ocupada, nunca escribes. ¿Qué pasa? Tantas cosas, solo quería saber si has oído hablar de un tal Frank que vive en una caravana en las afueras. Uno que vive en una camioneta junto al río, dicen que se mete metadona, solo eso. ¿Por estar significando en mí? No, me aburrí hablando, gracias. Vale, pero no puedes esconderte un secreto de la super, super reportera Julie Watson. Hola, la dejo con la duda. <risa> Papá, eh, ok. Pierdo la secuencia rápido, pero ¿dónde debe ser? Este. Ahora sí, lo acabo de recibir un mensaje extraño advirtiendo, advirtiéndome que más vale que la intrometida de mi hija deje de vigilar a los demás y cuidar de ella misma. ¿Es una novata, novatada o algo? O mandan desde un número oculto. Ah, lo siento, será algún idiota de mi clase haciendo ese recesivo. Por eso no tiene ninguna gracia, no me gusta que tenga mi número de gente que no conozco, ¿vale? A mí tampoco lo siento. Solo cumplo con mi deber como padre, sé que has tenido una semana difícil. Ya casi he terminado, os llamo luego, os quiero. Ah, chut. Me es amenaza de los Pre Prescott, obvio. Chloe. A ver, ahora, 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 desde. Acá. 
Hola, de vuelta a ver. <ríe> Siento haberlo apagado contigo hoy y haber desgraciado mi rabia y mi con el mejor amigo. Claro que te entiendo, está pasando por mucho, igual que todo. Además, he tirado tu gorro por la ventana y he rebobinado. <ríe> ok, tienes derecho a un emoticonio. Pero hay que comprar tabaco, café y chuchas para pasar la noche en vela. Hay que ponerse en medio de detective por Ray Shelly Kate. Excelente, querida Watson. Llevaré mi gorra, de pensar. No te preocupes, yo llevo gorro. Paso a recogerla. Wait, espero, espero. Y es andar el emoticón. Ah. Okay. Yes, Chloe Price was here. Hola, de cigarro. There's Chloe's cash dash. Sorry, Principal Wells. I'm so sorry, William. It's not fair you had to die twice. En realidad solo es una. Getting lost in all this. I should have known just erasing that phone message wouldn't stop the police. Departamento de Policía del KDBI para Chloe Price. Señorita Price, y la gente Anderson Berry. Como tenemos información de contacto archivada, nos gustaría que se presentara a la comisaría de lunes por la mañana sobre las 8 para responder algunas preguntas acerca de cualquier información que podría tener sobre un reciente llenamiento de la Academia Lowell y el hecho de que se identificara su vehículo en el departamento de Torrance de Sabara. Esperamos conocer su versión de los hechos. Gente, por favor. Chucha. This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. Es la foto que empezó todo. How much time have I altered since? La que empezó todo. Esa foto empezó todo. Ok, no hay más chichitas, no hay más cosas. That's my Chloe. Guía sobre pistolas para chicas malas, en serio. Ya, no hay nada más que. Vamos al tablón. So close yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the dark room. Too bad I don't have a gun anymore. Yes, that's the solution. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. <sighs> Don't remind me. I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of step crack. Unless you want to hang out with him after you stood up for his ass yesterday. Oh, please. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. Hey, no. otra vez? That poor little bird has been trapped in here. No la había liberado todavía. No, no, no. Vale, no tengo que ir. Vale. Last time I wanted to splash some water on my face. <laughs> my whole. Oh, that blue dye makes me so happy. It means the real Chloe is back with me. Vale. Hay que botar la, pero obviamente tengo que abrir la ventana primero. This might be the last poster advertising Arcadia Bay after tomorrow night. No se fue. Ah, ahí arriba. Since David might be in there, I better mosey along for a change. Fly, be free. Para que no vuelva a entrar. Listo. Eh, ¿Dónde tengo que ir abajo? Ok, 
que ya salgo a la calle. Ah, no, es el... La cochera. Ok, ¿qué pasó, Warren? Hola, Max. Tomé Chloe me ha enviado un mensaje diciéndome que, me... que lo nuestro no... Lo nuestro funciona, tiene pinta de estar... ¿Qué? Que lo nuestro no funciona, tiene pinta de estar buena, así que lo entiendo. <risa> Chloe tiene un mensaje. Que conste que, yo tenía su... que conste que yo no tenía ese número, al menos aún puedo ir al cine contigo, a no ser que prefieras quedar con Chloe, o podríamos ir todos. Con un problema me basta, güey. Tengo que irme, hablamos. Y ahí estoy, Chloe. Those poor whales are like beached angels. What is going on here? Looks like they're back on the road to Paris. No entiendo cómo veía como todo nuevo. Literalmente estás vuelto a tu vida original. Joyce really wants David and Chloe to be a family. Acepto tu oferta de una cena y una peli. Igual le hace le apetece venir a Chloe. Te llamo luego a ver qué. La verdad que los hicimos que estuvieran bien porque la otra opción era que se pelearan. Pero que no era lo adecuado. A pesar de que Chloe me había. Somehow I existed in this whole other reality. But I, I don't know what happened. Did I actually cause that clock to stop? Oh, there's a ladybug stuck in the dials. Lol. Time keeps on ticking. I think this all started with my vision of a tornado. El faro de Arcade Bay se avecina el apocalipsis ecológico. Aunque Arcade Bay hasta ahora se considera una población pintoresca y un destino turístico en, la costa, en, turístico en la costa de Oregon, el pueblo olvidado por el tiempo es, desde principios de esta semana, literalmente el ojo de una tormenta ambiental. Comenzamos con una nevada extraña, un eclipse sin precedentes, pájaros muriendo y ahora media docena de ballenas varadas. El clima extraño de Arcade Bay está siendo estudiado por científicos destacados del Estado y del país, y al parecer incluso la NASA. Lo que resulta aún más increíble que estos fenómenos ecológicos es el hecho de que ni un solo meteorólogo ha ofrecido ninguna teoría real o incluso motivo para este desastre atmosférico. Nadie, nadie sabe lo que puede pasar por eso. Ah, puedo ir afuera. No dejé la pintada y el recorrido ya no puedo volver ya, porque sé que está por David even made sure to bag up the dead birds. William never finished painting that wall. Ah, qué fotos, qué fotos, qué fotos, qué. Ah, uh, rocas, nido en una tabla. Qué oscura, la pereza está por aquí. Rocas. Ah, uh, trajeron. Aguanta, ahí está ahí. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Mm, pero no vamos a jugar con David acá presente. Mm. Hey Max. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Lord. I do appreciate you standing up for me. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. ¿Por qué a los... I wish Chloe could too. Apoya los Prescott. Ay, 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 compadre. Quizá no, debe, no debía haberlo defendido. Anything I can do for you, Max? I... I was just waiting for Chloe to get out of the bathroom so we can go. I owe you one. So I'll pretend what you just said is true, Missy. Excuse me, that's Miss Caulfield. Yes, sir. You and Chloe still better be careful where you wander. There are a lot of dark places in Arcadia Bay. What do you mean by dark places? I can't tell you everything that's going on at Blackwell. And you've seen too much already, so... 
Please stay out of this, Max. Too late. I already know way too much. So, do you and Nathan Prescott... That little shit-ass Nathan Prescott is lucky he only got suspended. I don't think luck had anything to do with it. I could have been suspended, too. I didn't have all the evidence at the time. I... I am sorry, Max. Anyway, I think we can both agree it's been a hard week on all of us. Especially poor Kate Marsh. I tried to help Kate. You did, Max. You saved her life, like a hero, while I left the goddamn dorm roof wide open. I knew Kate was feeling desperate. You even made it to the roof before me or anybody. I knew Kate was desperate too. So did Mr. Jefferson. That guy is an elitist prick. I'm off duty, so I can say it at home behind his back. Like when Chloe calls me step douche. These artists live in a fantasy world. Why do you say that? These art farts are all about themselves. When I was in the service, I hated the photographers who tried to pose me in their anti-war bullshit. Well, Blackwell Academy is a school for artists, so maybe this isn't the best place for you. I have a family here, Max, and I think Blackwell is the best place for me, since only I know what's happening. That's why I'm working out the new Blackwell surveillance plan to protect future students so they don't end up like Rachel Amber and Kate Marsh. Although, you're like a walking surveillance system. I appreciate you standing up for me, but I have to be a hard ass and tell you and Chloe to stay the hell out of this. Things are just gonna get more ugly. Chloe and I can take care of ourselves. Now, excuse me, Max. I have to get back to my camera. See, I'm an artist too. Uh, I don't totally trust David, but he's not a real step viewer. But this is my Maybe Chloe. Cave, so I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time, if there is one. No girls allowed. Mm -hmm. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. Sorry, Max. I can't talk and work. mean by dark? I can't tell. Too late. I already know way too much. Like the fact that you might be working for Sean Prescott. What? Who told you that? Nathan Prescott? That little shit ass is lucky he only got suspended. I don't think luck. I didn't have. So are you going to tell me why you think I'm working for Sean Prescott? I saw documents that you were hired to do surveillance and security at Pan Estates. God damn, you are a good detective. But I didn't get hired. I gave Sean Prescott an estimate for my own reasons. Anyway, I think... too bad nobody helped her when she needed it. You did, Max. You even made it to the roof before. I knew Kate. That guy. You did. Why do you? These are. Well. I have a fan. That's. Although. Chloe and. Now, excuse. I wonder if David is going to the party. Hey, Max. I do appreciate you standing up. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey David, what you hiding? Chuch. ¿Cuál es la? No creo que era había uno de siete uno siete uno. A ver. Chuch, así es. Yes. I knew that number would be important. Notes, coordinates.
cabinets, photos of Kate and Nathan. Oh, yes. Fala, tiene de todo. ¿Dónde están sacando la mierda? No, la plata de club. No, eso no es nada. Y ahora nos movinemos para que quede todo cerrado. Score. Back to Chloe now. Ah, ya lo cerró. Ok. Fuimos. Yo, Chloe. Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. It's Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus, there's some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh yes, <laughs> I'm on it. Max! Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there, too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Oh, it's not good. This is one. That is so good to know that Kate is drawing again. I don't think get well is quite apropos. Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wow, props to her. 
If this gets Kate through the night, so be it. Oh, I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. Ah, el director. Querida Kate, solo quiero esforzar mi mejor deseo de una, una pronta recuperación y hacerle saber que la Academia de Blackpool se ha unido para orar por tu regreso. Los alumnos y profesores se organizaron una concentración en tu honor y no, hab, no he visto semejante despliegue de apoyo académico y comunitario por un estudiante en nuestra historia. Sé que mis palabras pueden significar poco dadas las circunstancias, pero es importante que sepas que nos importa. Si necesitas cualquier cosa, no hubiese impedido. Atentamente, director. A nada. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. But not Nathan. Es muy bueno. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. Al menos está reivindicando. ¿Puedo sentar con ella? It's amazing to just sit here quiet with Kate again. I don't think I'll ever know how much destiny I'm changing. But whoever said we only have a single fate? Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be a... Uh... Not nice. But I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. I might be naive, but... I feel her struggle. Me too. I could have taken a picture of her covered in paint, but I didn't, and... We had a genuine moment. We all have our moments. Why do you think she acts so mean? She's insecure. If you're comfortable with yourself, you don't need to act superior. Victoria doesn't look like she has much to be insecure about. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No. I think it will take more than that, Max. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so that might be a start. You did? Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. So what is going on with him now? I think his family is totally protecting him. Or worse. I never say this about people. But Max, there's something evil about the Prescotts. They have something to do with death. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. Yeah. No boys allowed. <laughs> you are funny, Max. And right. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Muy bien. Aquí hemos terminado. That is so good to know that Kate is drawing it. Thanks again for visiting me, Max. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. 
Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah? Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for the school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. I know, but you can't force an artist to work. I, know, but I, say, but I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Mm -hmm. Hot for teacher. <laughs> Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut <laughs> up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Okay, photos, 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 photos. Espero que tengo que sacar fotos. A ver, primero veamos qué foto necesito. Alisa no está por ahí. Me va a caer un pelotazo de repente. Mm, fotos, 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 fotos. A ver. Las piedritas, las ardillas de repente por aquí. Piedritas, ardillas y no huevos en la tabla. See if I can find out where Nathan is. Poor Daniel. Look, hey Daniel. You look bummed out. Are you alright? Hola, Max. Hola. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. I'm a wannabe artist. You're not here to be a photographer. That's my gig. Look at that sketch you did of me. Incredible. And that's your art. Your gift. <sighs> I do feel better now. You are good, Max. Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. People here push me into lockers, not dance floors. That's exactly why you should go to that party. We have to stand up to these Blackwell bullies for Kate. You won't be alone, Daniel. Not with you to back me up, Max. Oh, damn it. I will go to the party like it is the end of the world. Okay, maybe I won't go, but... No, I won't do that, but I'll go. Have you talked to anybody about what happened with Kate? I don't talk to anyone, Max. But I did actually have a nice talk with Brooke. She couldn't stop talking about how brave you were on that roof. I don't think doing the right thing is brave, but I appreciate what she means. The most important thing is that Kate gets better and gets justice. I hear that, Max. She's the sweetest, most genuine person I've ever met. I don't mind getting picked on by Blackwell bro holes, but don't fuck with Kate. I like this revolutionary Daniel DaCosta. Only if I can start the revolution from my sketchbook, Max. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott? 
Oh, I heard a rumor he's actually suspended. Yeah, but he's still gotta be on campus. That explains why he looked so pissed off when I saw him leaving campus a few moments ago. Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Poor Daniel. Looks like he needs a hug. Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. Ay, casi me quedo un pelotazo. Eh, las piedras, las piedras, qué piedras. Te voy. Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. Okay, where did these rocks come from? This is too Blair Witch for me. Mm -hmm. One photo for posterity. Bien, bien. Ya, yeah. eh, esto de los huevos en la tal no me es que me la he perdido porque parece que es en la casa. La... I don't think the Tobango will ever give up any secrets to us. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Hey, Brooke no, doesn't look happy that I'm going ape with Warren. Hey, Brooke, how are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time oh, to fly my drone. Oh, 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 really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. <laughs> hey, bro. I'm here. I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. That makes sense. Two big brains are better than one. Or mine. We'd get the Nobel Prize if we could explain this phenomenon, but even Miss Grant has no clue. I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Come on, Brooke. Don't be that way. Nathan was suspended, but he should still be on campus. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. I might... Miss Grant. Really? You are. Talk to you later, Max. No le mola que salga de nuevo. Sarditas, sarditas, foto, foto. How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? That's so ironic that Warren yeah, asked pero... Max to the drive-in. Oh, ya deja de hablar de mí, güey. Para una foto dice, pero no hay, no hay comunicación. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds. That's cool to see that Samuel's not alone for once. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. What happened to them? I would say the sky is too dirty for their wings, but... Something worse is in the air. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate, then it doesn't matter. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... they just cry. 
Do you think this is some kind of eco-disaster, or...? I think it's more than that. Somebody is causing all this to happen. I you mean, think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. So, next time I have a question, Por el tiempo. I'm coming to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them, oh. Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Climate change isn't real my ass. Sorry to bother you again, Samuel. There's no bother here, Max. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. Th that must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. Even though Miss Grant likes me, I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. Well, no offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. Beginning of what? Oh, I, I don't believe anything ever ends, especially time. That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. And, and Max, I don't like it at all. I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers, if we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. Do you think she's alive? She'll always be alive in our hearts. Sometimes that's all we have left. But... Max, all I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Rachel Amber is waiting too. I'd rather be in her class than the Vortex Club. Yes, you would. Rachel saw right through them. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max. While time is on your side. More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. I actually just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. She's doing so much better. Because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. It could have gone either way. Samuel, do you think that we each have a destiny? Yes, I, I do, Max. In many different lifetimes, of course. Kate Marsh believed in something different, so... That's her destiny. I believe you. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like her friend Max. I hope she finds them now. Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. He sees things, not people. But I, I think he sees you, Max. A mí me ve. Why do you say that? Because you both see with cameras. Uh -huh. I think you have better vision than both of us. <laughs> no, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? That would be hard since he was suspended. You don't sound sad, Samuel. Nathan hurts people. The end. What do you really know about him? Not enough to help you, Max. I truly wish I could. I see what you're doing. I'm sorry. I better get going now. I think everything is changing here. As a scientist, I'm fascinated. As Michelle Grant, I'm very worried. Get that food in your belly. Look at the weather. 
and the animals. Not to mention poor Kate Marsh. We all need to look out for each other. How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? All we are is dust in the wind. Hey, la foto, la foto, la foto, la foto, la foto, la foto, la foto. Ya decía yo, me acaso de la foto. Me ha perdido la de los huevos, ya fue ya. ¿Por qué me estoy perdiendo fotos? No? Pero yo no he visto nada de esto cerca, no sé por dónde me la puedo perder. Good to see you out and about, man. Mrs. Grant looks interested in whatever Samuel is saying. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. And I swear, it's not about that petition you didn't sign. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in Science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. You think that's why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding, not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to kill off sea and wildlife here. Unless you know something I don't. What about wormholes and chaos theory? I like the time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. Uh-huh. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You did a wonderful thing, and now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, not bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just... Wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. You probably know him better. I've tried. Nathan is a Prescott, and with that comes a lot of baggage. Too much for one teenager. This week was the proof. Principal Wells did the right thing. I know. Nathan needs real help. Yes, he does, Max. I did try once, but Mr. Prescott didn't appreciate my help. I did see Nathan leaving the campus looking angrier than usual, so maybe it's good you haven't found him. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. Bueno, tres teorías I'll de que ya later. se fue, así que It's always good no talking to you, Max. Let's talk again soon, Max. Vámonos. 
I can tell that Justin is really into Chloe. Chloe fits in so easy with Justin. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, uh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. It's so lame, they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Give me the signal if anybody shows up. Evan. Of course. That's why no shits were given. Evan rolls. Kate. Ah, ok. La lista, la hora de... Acá. Señor Max, por si todavía necesitas el número del cuarto Nathan, es el 111. Ah, ya tengo el número. ¿Qué tal si me agregas? Me encanta que saques a rebelde que llevas dentro y eres una rebelde creme. Siempre, por fin. Y por fin te mucho cuidado, me lo prometes. Claro, te mandaría informada. Se aclaras. El 111. Vale, tenemos el número. Oh, Kate brings it. So, room 111 is the magic number. There's Eagle Eye Chloe scoping out the area for Nathan. Max, what are you doing? Hurry up! <risa> Estaba todo pintado, no íbamos a encontrar nada. Mejor ni leo lo que hay. Otra vez la foto de los gatos. Madre mía, tengo una foto de la gente de secundaria. Casual Gamers, se va a sacar el tiempo. Unimos a Gamer Guys. Cada semana jugamos a entrenarnos en este tipo de juegos. De Call of Duty World Warcraft. De Estrategia Shooters. Empecé la partida. Vieron el centro multimedia Wesley. Gamers. Apparently Logan missed this poster. <laughs> oh, why, hello, Trevor and Dana. Okay, si entonces a la izquierda derecha. Are toilet paper wars mandatory in the dorms? Hey, photo. Every photographer should have one blurry Bigfoot shot. Ni imaginarme que iba a estar acá la foto. Y sí, me perdí la foto y ya la madre fue a ser en la casa. Luego viene de ballena un molino. Ballena y molino. Ballena y molino. Ballena y molino. Even after Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. Ah, oh, jerks. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. Llora, Hister, llora, je, desgraciado. Sharks. Zack or Logan? Who knows? Bro's got a bro. El once, ciento once. Ah, esta es. This can only be Nathan's room. Pues obvio, presco, Taisa. Quiero observar a Tessa. Ugh, skunkweed and video games. I sense Hayden is near. This just makes me think of Kate. No permitas que te intimiden. Hello, Warren's room. Hawking and him make a good team. Poor Warren. This is the work of Nathan. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. Cuidado, alerta de Marika Beth. Que pendejo. Nathan. Max. Hurry up and find Nathan's room. Looks like one of the jocks did care about Kate. Oh, you Bigfoots. Rebobino y... What the fuck? Ok, bueno. Eh... 
Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Or anything with clues. Joyce. Ah, se que defenderás a David. Eh, vale. Sé que Chloe no le hizo gracia, pero es hora de que se centre y se deje de tonterías. Aunque lo veo difícil. Si os metéis en líos ilegales como entrar a Google por la noche, sé lo que pasó. Así que no te molestes en defenderte o dar explicaciones. Esperaba que le hicieras volver al buen camino, pero parece que se vuelve a torcer. David quiere ayudarla, pero ella no se deja. Podría ser una buena influencia para ella, al menos que las dos queréis jugar a ser malas. Lo siento, yo hice eso. Hasta yo me meto en líos, pero tiene que ser una buena influencia para Chloe. O sea, Max, me olvida que aún sois adultos adolescentes. That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. Mejor hijo del mundo. Sí. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescotts rule. That monochrome camera is brand new and cost about six grand. Six mil dollars. Pastor. I really hope they were all consenting models. Ah, tiene un nombre esto. No me acuerdo ahorita. That is so Chloe. Eh, capullo, tengo que jalar. O le cuento a todo el mundo lo que hiciste. Y la vas a pagar, hijo de... Ah. Oh, my God. Chloe. No mames. Chloe. ¿La drogó? Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but... The guy has his own style. Está proyectando fotos. No veo que tenga mucha relevancia. Yes, I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Let's see what Nathan hides in here. Holy shit! That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... These films all have a dark pattern. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. ¿Qué pasa? Para Victoria y de Nathan. Hola guapa, dime, ¿qué te vas a poner para la fiesta de deportes de esta semana? Para que me ponga algo en juego, caro y elegante. Estoy diciendo que llegue y voy a llevar provisiones. Hasta le he dicho a mi viejo que aleje a los cerdos de Bloodwell. Para que no nos jodan la diversión. Si es una fiesta al fin del mundo, habrá que hacer las cosas bien, ¿no crees? Bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Club Bortes, octubre del 2013, pura fiesta. Kate se suelta la melena. Besticum. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. No te preocupes, de Shin para Nathan. Nate, sé que ha sido una semana tensa y tu madre y yo estamos aquí para hablar si es necesario. Pide cita en cualquier momento. Tu madre quiere que el Dr. Bill venga después de la cita de la gira de promoción de su libro, pero por ahora sigue con lo que te recetó. Doctor, psiquiatra. Necesito que estés tranquilo hasta la apertura de la organización PAN. Sé que ser un fresco es una carga y te quiere paso a paso, como hizo mi padre. Fue difícil para mí cuando él me abrió los ojos a nuestro vecino, pero me lo agradecerás algún día. No te preocupes por Blackwell, lo vamos a poner una, un enema a este pueblucho de mierda. Quiero que estés listo para sucederme cuando llegue el momento. No la cagues, sí. Pero ya. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. Then. Para Nathan, de Christine, no te preocupes. 
Todo bien desde Brasil, hermanito. Hace siglos que no sé nada de ti, así que cuéntame qué está pasando en tu emocionante vida académica en Blackwell. Pardo con mis compis de trabajo en los cuerpos de paz de que al listo de mi hermano Nate le han dado una beca en una de las mejores escuelas de arte del mundo. Aunque no siempre puedo mirar el correo o el móvil, porfi, 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 envíame más fotos del campus para que pueda vivirlo a través de tu objetivo. Te echo de menos a ti y a tus fotos. Y sí, mamá me ha dicho que te has metido, me has meti, te has metido en movidas y que papá ha estado agobiándote, pero tienes que pasar de él o plantearte ca, plantarle cara. Nate, sabes que quiero a papá, pero también estoy a una selva al otro lado del mundo por su culpa. Es un abusón que heredó el poder, pero no la sabiduría. Y la única forma de ganar contra alguien así es defenderte. No dejes que te convierta en alguien así por el legado familiar. Fin del sermón. ¿Cómo estás en la escuela? Debería hacerte sentir como en casa. Me vuelvo a los manglares. Envío buenos deseos, más tarde responderme o te enviaré a jugar a tu cuarto. Besitos, Chris. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Ok. No encontré nada. Y ahora. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Eh, suelo azul. Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Listo, tengo todo. Vámonos. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Vámonos, vámonos, vámonos. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. Check this out. No, puta, justo entró. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. What are you doing in my dorm? Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. Oh. Pinche cabezazo que le metió. You are so fucking dead! Chucho, a pistola. Get off me, bro! Uh, eh, no, deténlo, deténlo mejor, porque no. Warro se va a meter mucho, en muchos líos y lo sigue patiendo. Warren, stop it! Come on! Oh! Oh, my head! Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you! You're all dead! Let's go. Now. Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you. Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating. Exacto. We should try to be better than that. Se borran. Se lució. Damn, that was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. <laughs> or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. <laughs> yes, you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. 
He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole's gonna help us find Rachel. You know what would be great? If I still had a gun. Yes, the chance for gunplay would just about even the odds here. Frank would scare better. He's a pussy. Besides, if I take him out, you can just rewind. Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. After Kate, I feel like every time I do, it might be the last. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just pay Frank his money, and then we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Código para el libro, no entiendo. Vamos a leer una analogía. Ok, vamos a dejar esto hasta por aquí. Vamos a avanzar un buen tramo. 